y'all welcome back to the dark side we are going to continue our game unavowed it's been a while i think we left off we killed two people sorry spoiler alert if you have not seen the first video but we killed two people and then we joined this group called the unavowed and i guess we vanquish all of the bad spirits i guess so yes we're just going to continue Okay, oh, that's right. Okay, so we left off. Um, they gave us a place to stay. Whole pot of espresso just for you. Somehow it's always hot. Let's get some, I guess. Can we take some? Right click, nothing. Okay, can we click on this? Can we look outside? Outside you can see the hustle of downtown nightlife on the street below. Mm -hmm. What's this? A framed photograph hangs on the wall near the bed. <laughs> Ooh, what is this? Romeo and Juliet? Oh, an old publicity shot of you and Maury. How did this get here? Was Maury the one that we killed? I think Maury was... No, 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 that was... Oh no, it is Maury. We also killed him too. Can we get it? Can we take it? There's nothing weird. Okay. Time to go but just stuff like a rock. Okay, so we just woke up, scratched up violin and bow. Can we take that now? A rosary. This silver crucifix might be useful if vampires are real. Can we take it? No. Unfaded old coaster of a heavy metal band, Axis of Evil. Hmm, there's certainly some eclectic reading matter in this bookcase. Ooh, can we open a chest? Nope. We take the elephant. A little brass elephant with a me memento of Siam written on the underside. Oh, open drawers. Nothing. Can we get a coat? I just want to make sure I'm not missing anything. A bottle of brandy crested with age. Can we take that? Okay, I guess we just leave the room. What are these? Candles? Oh, what candles? Is that a note? I guess that's it. Okay, so I guess we'll leave the room. Oh, yeah, that's not creepy. Sharp little knives dot the surface of this. So, are they like genies? Or. I didn't really explain. Let's talk to her, I guess. I had some odd dreams like a baby. You just came out of a bottle, yeah. Okay, is the voice not working? Who are you calling mundane? That's me, Miss unpredictable you came out of a bottle and i'm freaking out and processing it okay uh, i guess oh why is the voice acting not working can we talk about the unavowed i have some questions about yourself can you tell me about eli about last night there's a photo of me in my room who put it there i'll leave you to it yeah let's ask about the picture <gasps> what is happening Okay, hold up. Okay, not sure if it'll see it just keeps skipping. Hmm. Maybe it's just a glitch in the game, so I guess I'm gonna have to What does it okay, if I can't talk to her, it's like I don't even I guess we're gonna have to leave her alone. What is around here? Sharp little knives dot the surface of this target. She needs to have a code with deep scratches. Can we take here you go? See, it's like she's trying to say something to us, but I can't do anything. Did we take it? No. She won't let us touch anything. Okay, let's go to the next room. Ooh another guy in here 
If, if I can't talk to him, I don't know. I'm going to have to restart the game or something. Oh my gosh, you're blue. Okay. My day, okay, I guess it's working now. <laughs> had enough to leave books of demonic evil alone. Mundanes today don't know they're born. The world has gotten soft. Needs toughening up. How tough are you, new girl? Huh, I'm an actor. I did all my own stunts, got the scars to prove it. I stopped that monster in the alley. I got hit by lightning yesterday several times. Yeah, that's funny. Um, I'm going to scars to prove it. I stopped that monster in the alley. Yeah, there you go. Yes, while its back was turned, a child would be victorious in those circumstances. No, no. You have yet to experience your true crucible, but it will come. Oh, yes, it will come. At any rate, we have much to discuss and much to do. Settle in, talk to the others, get the lay of the land. I will call our meeting when you are ready. I still want, okay, let's see if we can go back and talk to that girl now. I forget her name already. Uh, she was Okay. Yes. Oh, <gasps> it works, okay. Weird. I guess there was like a weird glitchy thing happening. Um, okay, so can we talk about the unavowed? I have some questions about yourself. Can you tell me about Eli? About last night? I'll leave you to it. Let's talk about the unavowed. Certainly. What is your question? How come I've never heard of you before? I'd like to ask about something else. Never mind, I'll leave your training. Um... We do not exactly advertise our presence. We prefer it that way. But the truth is, the last century has seen a diminishing need for our services. Things have certainly changed. Hmm. Uh, changed? Yes. Supernatural threats have been escalating. It happened so suddenly, we were caught unprepared. We had become complacent. We have not been recruiting. You are the first new recruit in decades. The first of many, we hope. I will do my best to answer. Okay, um, about yourself? Yeah, let's ask her. Me? What do you want to know? So you are a genie? <laughs> Sorry, she came out of the bottle. How long have you been with the unavowed? Let's ask if she's a genie. The term is Jin. Jin. And yes on my father's side. And no, I do not grant wishes. How long have you been with the Annabelle? Okay, I, I, will I do think my there best was a answer. question about Eli. There you go. Eli is my partner and a dear, dear friend. We have saved each other's lives more often than we can count. You and he have much in common. He was once mundane, like yourself. Mundane. I would recommend asking him about his transition. It might help with your own. Last, last night. night, yes. You gave us quite the chase. We know nothing about the demon that was inside you, but it was a wily thing. It didn't hurt you, did I? I wish I could remember. I'm just glad it's all gone. As we all are, believe me. It was taunting us, dancing just out of our reach, slaughtering whomever it could. But we got it in the end. Regardless of what happens next, we stopped it. We can all take comfort in that. Okay. Leave you to Thank it. Thank you. Now I want to see what she was saying when you were trying to grab. That helmet is cursed. Any warrior who dons it would find their head squeezed until it breaks. Oh, I... I would be wary of touching it. I thought she was, like, telling us not to take it or something. Let's see. This bottle looks incredibly ancient and is engraved with indecipherable characters. Do not even consider it. Shield. Please do not disturb those. Oh. It took centuries to arrange them just the way I like them. Centuries? There's only a couple of things on the wall. Please do not disturb those. It took centuries to arrange them just the way I like them. Please do oh, not disturb okay. it took What is this uh, fish is looking? Can we take these weapons? Please do not disturb it took Okay, she doesn't want us touching anything. Can we take these knives? One of them? Nope. Okay. What's that? 
It's just looking. So we talk to this guy again. No, he has to be a genie, hmm? right? What is it? You ready to start the meeting? No, can we talk about other sources? We got some people we know. I do not indulge in idle gossip. If you want to know of someone, ask them. Jeez. As you were. Okay. Luke and Crystal with the mysterious inner light. Spirits. Can't do anything. What's that? Who's that? Oh. Who's that supposed to be? Okay, so I saw that there was another doorway here. Just gonna go through here. Oh, there he is. Oh, there they are. Are they lovers? I know that she's like way taller than him though. I know I was talking about how tall they were. What's this? Oh, no, I guess. He had a wife. That's not her, is it? Oh, is it? Hmm. The two young girls. Are these his, um... Okay, let's talk to him. He's... Hey! Don't surprise a fire mage like he that. He didn't see us. <laughs> I mean, we idea. were standing in anyway, front of him. Hi. You settling in okay? This place is kind of weird. This place is pretty cool. You're throwing fire. You yeah. noticed? Yeah, I like to do this in my spare time. Keeps me sharp. But seriously, it took me a while to get used to this stuff. It's not gonna happen for you overnight. But you'll get there. Faster than you think. Anyway... I'm sure you want to walk around. I'll be here if you have any questions. I don't see why not. So here we talk. I'm curious about yourself. Could I ask you about some of the pictures on your walls? The photo appeared on my wall. Do you know how it got there? Yeah, let's ask him about the photo. Huh, you too, huh? Wasn't long after I joined up that my first photo appeared. Scared the hell out of me. It's something to do with this building. It wants you to remember who you are, oh. who you were. Don't think about it too hard. I've been here 50 years and I still don't know how it works. Okay. Look, I really wanted to get some practice in. Maybe He just said that if we had any questions, then he can answer them. And now he's, he doesn't want to talk to us when we want to talk about his pictures. Okay. I guess if we're going to work together, we should know each other. Ask away. How long have you been with the Unavowed? So you're a wizard. Mandana told me you used to be mundane like me. You never bet you would talk about someone else. Hmm. Um. Let's ask that. Someone's been telling tales out of school, huh? I used to have a pretty normal life. Then one day I set my office on fire with my mind. Uh. Then stuff happened and Mandana found me. She brought me here. The rest is, well, history. Oh, stuff happened? Yep. I bared my soul enough for one day. Barely even know you. Let's talk about something else. I feel like nobody wants to Why talk. Why do you think? Fire mage here. I could easily burn this place to the ground if I'm not careful. I needed a place to practice, and a room insulated with stone was the obvious choice. Besides, I don't feel the cold, so it's quite cozy down here. Hmm. Interesting. Talk about sure. someone else. Um... I know a little bit about that. What do you want to know? What does Anna about do? How long has Anna about been around? How come I've never heard of you guys before? Gosh, a, a really long time. Sorry. If you're looking for a history lesson, Mandana or Kalash are the ones to ask. As far as I'm concerned, we do good work. That's all that matters. He is not giving me anything. I'm gonna buy. Stay around, friend. 
I'm not telling you, Beckett? Is that a clue? We're gonna need that later, huh? Beckett. Last name. So is his last name Eli Beckett? Hmm. Who's that? Is that him? So he's been here for a while then. Fire extinguishers. Okay. Let's go back upstairs. So our room is upstairs and if we go here, I guess we're ready to call the meeting now or what's in here? I don't believe I gave you permission to Oh, leave. that's to leave. Okay, so we can start the hmm? meeting. What is it? You ready to start the meeting? Can we talk about the NFL? I might know a thing or two about that. Here we go. We're the wall against the darkness, the protectors of the mundane world. We might not be what we once were, but we are here, and that is all that matters. Nobody knows for sure. Not even I. But this branch is exactly 393 years 393? old. 393? I know, because I founded it. Oh. Is that why he's blue? Is he a rot rotting corpse? Here you go. Yes. This city was becoming a force to be reckoned with. With the supernatural forces to match. There was important work to be done. I volunteered. And here I am still. How come I've never... Hmm. Yeah. That's gratitude for you. Used to be, you mundanes would beg us for help if a cat looked at you funny. But yes, I won't deny it. Supernatural threats became fewer and further between over the last century. There was little reason for mundanes to think of us at all. But things have changed. Changed? Yes. Supernatural threats have risen. Exponentially. It's been difficult to contain. We need to fill our ranks. You are the first in a long line of many, I hope. Let me just stop really quick. Look, I am matching with the couch. <laughs> okay. As you were. Now I think we can start the meeting hmm? because... What? Call the meeting. Indeed. The time for waiting is past. Father, you met our latest recruit? Yes. I admit she doesn't look like much, but we'll see what this life makes of Are we gonna get a makeover? All neophytes mm. once, Kalash. Most of us, Mage Beckett. Most of oh, us. Oh, so his last name is Beckett. Okay. So I'm right here, you know. So what are we talking about? Keep quiet and wait. I'm right here. I am aware of that. <laughs> I have read the reports on your last mission. Mage Beckett, is it true you summoned a void creature? Yes. By accident. I swear. Irrelevant. Magic is unpredictable. I understand this. What I don't understand is why you let it feed on human corpses. What will the mundane authorities think when they find tooth marks on the victims, hmm? The creature was both a danger and an innocent. We reached a compromise. Mm -hmm. That is all. We'll be the ones compromised if the two of you aren't more careful. Don't you mean the three of you? Don't blame them. It was my idea. Keep quiet. Oh, I mean, it was our idea for him to feed before he left, right? That may be, but you had no authority over them. It was their choice to make. Father, regardless of our choices, the Void Creature is gone. We have a more pressing concern. Yes, you let the demon escape. Your mission was a failure. They saved me. I wouldn't call that a failure. Wait, the demon is still out there? Keep quiet. Saving you was a side objective, nothing more. Saving people isn't a side objective, sir. And how many might now die because you let the demon escape? Jeez, drama. It was so close. I had it contained, but it was stronger than I expected. I see. This is becoming distressingly commonplace. Nevertheless, Eli speaks the truth. We underestimated the threat. Then that will have to be sufficient. And now to the next item at hand. Your next mission. Oh, 
All right, my first mission says you and I only just got here. Keep quiet. I'm going to be excited about it because... You are correct in more ways than you can imagine. I have detected void activity in the East Village, somewhere close to Aster Place. You are to travel there, determine the cause of the disturbance, and neutralize it. Let's see. You know what? I'm going to look at the big screen. Oh. Was that way I'm on? Okay, so void activity, what do you mean by neutralize? Mm, I mean, I know it neutralizes see void activity. Activity from beyond the void. Do try and keep up. Are you sure she's ready to go out into the field so soon? These are dangerous times. Dark forces are coming. We don't have the time for traditional training. If she isn't able to handle it immediately, we might as well kill her now. Trial by fire. Sink or swim. Do or die. You want to prove yourself to the unavowed, new girl? Now is your chance. Meeting adjourned. What? Are we all in the Well, I guess that settles that. Okay, so who is in charge of trial by fire? I guess we should get going? Yeah. Yes, as soon as possible. <sighs> and I really hoped I could take the day off. Anyway, we're ready when you are. It's kind of hard for me to see. Okay, so where do we do we do this? Do we need to? This bottle emits a faint hum. Smoke dances at the chimney for the warm members of the fire. Oh, I guess we. Oh. Oh, we can just. Oh, we can um. Choose what character we want to be. Mm. Okay. So he's fire. She's, uh... I forget what she does. <laughs> Let's leave, I guess. Ooh, okay. Looks like the K-Train is down. Again. Eli. The K-Train was discontinued in 1988. Was it? I could swear I- We gotta go to East Village. Manhattan. Astor Place, 8.30 p.m. Hmm. Still raining. Hmm. At least nothing's here waiting to kill us. Well, the night is young. I like how they have side conversations to the Alamo sculpture, also known as the cube. It's been here as long as you can remember. What steps? Okay, so that's the... I guess we just keep going? Here we go. You seem troubled. Is something the matter? Maybe we should walk around the block. There's a cop there. I'm a wanted criminal. Shouldn't I be wearing a disguise or something? That's right. Whatever for? You have nothing to fear. Not with the veil in place. The veil? What veil? What are you talking about? I know, what veil? Yeah, it became active when you signed up with us. It just disguises your identity. Anyone looking at you sees slightly different features. Oh. You are not the first new recruit to arrive with... complications in the mundane world. The veil prevents awkwardness all around. Great, we didn't want things to be more awkward than they are, so nobody I know will recognize me. I suppose it makes sense. Better safe than sorry. Yeah. Just think of it as a perk of membership. In a sense, the veil only works on mundanes. Supernatural beings and the void touch can see through it easily. But that law enforcement officer, he will pose no threat. Okay. So normal folks are working, but supernatural folks can. Got it. Let's go, unless there's something else you forgot to tell me. No. There's nothing okay. else. Let us continue, shall we? So we can talk to him? Evening, ma'am. What happened here? Rough night to be out. I'd better get going. What happened? Who wants to know? I live in the neighborhood. I've been on vacation. Yeah, let's say that. Well, welcome home, I guess. Count yourself lucky that the fire didn't spread. Fire. I'll tell you one thing. You see a lot of bad people in this line of work. But it takes a special kind of nasty to torch a homeless shelter. A homeless shelter? Sure it was arson? That's how we're treating it. Until we know otherwise, we're treating it like a crime scene. Which means, stay back. 
Okay. Yeah, a neighborhood full of corporate chains, and they attack this place. Was anyone hurt? A few people killed. A lot of people with second or third degree burns. That is horrible. I won't argue with that. I was here when the rescue team arrived. They were carted off to Beth Israel Hospital. The people here, they don't exactly have medical insurance. Yeah, you could say that. Wouldn't be here if I had the choice, believe me. I don't blame you. See ya. Can we go in? The building has reduced the cinders quite recently from the look of it. Uh, can we use him? Don't know what I'd say. Okay, can we use her? I have nothing to say. Can we use her for... I fail to see how I can be of use there. Um, not sure what you want me to do <laughs> Like, no, I don't even know what I'm supposed to do. Okay, so I guess we just keep walking. Oh, what's that? Hey, are you alright? You look a little... Oh! Boo, there's something following me. Where are you taking me? This building is a safe place I'm taking out of the cold. That's all you need to know. I need your help. You need mine. Perhaps we can help each other. What is happening? Taking out. That's all you need to know. This building is a safe place. I need your help. You need mine. I'll do whatever you want. Just help me. Please. Just go through the store. Follow me in here. Just do as you're told and all will be well. There you go. Did you see that? I did. Neuromorphic projection. I've read the theories, but never thought. I think she's coming out of it. Are you alright? It's weird. Yeah, what just happened? I'm not sure. I think I had a vision. Okay. Yes, you did. We saw it too. A vision from your past. Well, your demon's past, oh. technically. This area must have kick-started your brain into remembering. There was some psychic spillover. We could see it too. Spillover? You guys can read my mind? That gave me a nasty, nasty headache. You guys, I'll put spillover? Yeah. Psychic runoff. Try not to think about it too hard. This building the demon entered. It used to house the village eye. The Ooh, the village eye. Didn't it go out of business a few years ago? Indeed it did. What was your demon self doing here? Why does the village eye sound familiar? The village eye. Oh, is that from the Blackwell series? The village. The village eye, that's right. I think Ro Rosa. Was that her name? The main character, Ro Ro Rosa, something like that. She worked for the village eye. And she was a journalist or something like, or yeah, like a journalist. I gotta play that series again. It's actually really, really good. Um, starting up a newsletter for demons. Let's get in and find out. As long as I don't have another vision, I don't care. That hurt. Let's get in and find out. Agreed. We are wasting time. Right. Enough jabber. Let's go. Locked. <sighs> well, that just figures, doesn't it? Access your companion's abilities via the inventory. Um, I think maybe Mandana because she has electricity. She can. Oh no, she has a sword. I'm tripping. It is done. There you go. Be aware that if law enforcement questions me, I am compelled to tell the truth. That's right. She cannot lie because she's a jinn. <clears throat> it smells very human. Here. Looks like people were squatting here. Half a Colorful dozen groupie please. explodes off the walls. Wasn't there a homeless shelter around the corner? Why live here? Yeah, why do we all... It could be pride. Or perhaps These they gathered here for a specific purpose. Scrolls. I'm guessing it wasn't a slumber party. Graffiti. Okay, so there's a staircase powerful. and there's also a room. A sign on the door reads Jordan. I guess we can go in there. Oh. Huh. Only one bed in here. Maybe the leader or something? Yes. This room was designated to separate one individual from the rest. Hmm. Someone of importance. A water stain mattress which or has seen someone better undesirable. Days. So this room Found either belonged thing. to a cult leader or a prisoner. Found Most likely. No. Let's look at this computer. 
I might not know a lot about those things, but Something don't they electricity? need electricity to work? I don't think the power's on in this place. Ooh, we have to... The computer is dark and silent. Let's see if there's anything in the desk. I received a photograph. Oh. Hmm, wonder who that is. This wonder has been seeing a lot of views. What have you got there? An old fuse? Seems to still be intact. Fuse. Okay, so we need the fuse. Maybe going downstairs with this. Gritty spirals into itself, trying to follow it makes your eyes water. What's up here? Anything on these shelves? Old beat up cabinet, shoved against the wall. Scrap of paper, PW equals heart. So password equals heart. Anything else? Empty. Do you? Rain shrieks down the window, obscuring most of the view. Okay, let's go downstairs. Maybe there's like a fuse box or something and could turn on the power. Oh! Jeez! Go away! Ew, now we have to... Do not be alarmed. That was just a lost spirit. What you would call a ghost. They are harmless. Harmless? A ghost? You are serious? You guys seem remarkably calm about this, right? So ghosts is dead. <laughs> exist. Let's move on. Yeah. Good. You adjust quickly. Death is a part get through of this the game. mundane world. We do not get involved. Let us move forward. Oh boy. It's dark. Oh. God damn it. Are you hurt? No, I'm fine. I tripped over. Are they bodies? I have no idea. I hope it's fine. Damn thing. Ooh, where's the light switch? The meager light barely pierces the gloom down here. Can't we use here? Let's use him. Huzzah! That's weird. Come on! Is there a problem? The darkness sits fighting, the, fighting light. the light. It always does. I'm being literal. Whatever's, Whatever's down here, it's interfering with my magic. Okay, let's move. What is that? This is the, a small fuse box is against. There you go. So let's use this in there. <gasps> Color me gobsmacked. <sighs> it's a forest. A forest in a basement. This is like. Uh... Well, that explains why my fire's so weak down here. Probably a natural defense mechanism for whatever this is. Kind of reminds me of. Um... Shannara Chronicles? Shannara Chronicles. <laughs> okay, so there's little graffitis here. There's the street stump grows out of solid concrete. It's a surface. Its surface is covered in is that blood? Oh. Maybe. This blanket is covered with moss and lichen. Lichen? Mushrooms. Oh. What's in it? Gross. Well, this just got a lot more complicated. Male. Early to mid-60s, I believe. The cause of death is difficult to determine. He's got vines growing out of him. What could do this? He's covered in moss. Did a disease do this? Should we cover our mouths? Like COVID. <laughs> okay, covered in moss. Let's see that. Yes, this room has quite an abundance of forest life. Your vision. You were familiar with this building. Whatever happened here, you were involved, or at least your demon self was. You don't remember anything. No other visions spring to mind. I think I would have remembered this. No, I don't remember anything. I'm sorry, I wish I could be more help. Don't apologize. It's not your fault. No doubt your demon covered its tracks well before leaving your mind. So, who is he? He has no distinguishing marks. He carries no identification. Whoever this is, it remains a mystery. <gasps> is he- is that the ghost of him? 
Um, hi, is this body yours? Can you hear us? Yeah, let's ask him that. It is a lost spirit. It cannot communicate. Are you sure about right? that? Right? It does appear agitated. Let us leave it be. Talk to it. I'm gonna talk to it. It's fuzzy and indistinct. It stares blankly ahead, barely noticing you are even here. I want to talk to it. Hello, can you hear me? Could I ask you a few questions? Say hello. It's not responding. Pretty normal. Or a ghost, anyway. Hmm. Lost spirits cannot communicate with the living. Ghosts can't hear us, or see us, or anything to us, actually. Hmm. Can we talk to this thing? Around to nothing new. I want to. I feel like we have to do something here. No response. I am not surprised. Can we use... Or maybe we can come back. Let's go back to the computer. But I bet that's his spirit. Yeah, let's go back to the computer, turn it on, put in the password figure it out do these drawings on the wall mean anything to you mandana i cannot decipher their meaning but i this Here wall drawing means nothing to me eli journal password uh heart journal do we make the heart Symbol with the three. Hmm. Oh, heart, love. Um, okay, get out. Or maybe it's PW equals heart, love, password equals. What's the name of that? There's a photo. Wait, let me go back. Photo. Do we know the name of these people? Do we have to talk to the ghost? Jordan. Let's try Jordan. For Jordan. Oh, jeez. Okay. So we have a picture, and I'm pretty sure it's going to be the name of one of them. But how can we leave the building and then come back to figure that out? Because we can ask around and see if anybody knew these people. Let's try that. Oh, so I guess we could leave. Okay, so we can go to the bar. Here you go. Oh, is that her? She glares at you underneath her filthy hoodie. She looks kind of familiar. That's the girl in the picture. She voted this picture. It's you of you, isn't it? Hello, rough night to be out, huh? See anything weird around here? Let's say hello first. She's not the talkative type, it seems. Where... where did you get that? You didn't answer my question. We're trying to learn what happened at the village I We'd like to help you if we can. <sighs> Excuse me. I'm thirsty. I'm so thirsty. So we're trying to learn what happened at the village I. Excuse me. The village I? I know what you're talking about. That is an obvious lie. Do I look like I care? Just leave me alone. I might not look it, but I'm fine. Tell everyone that Wendy is fine. Wendy. You don't need to come out here and... Wait, it's you, isn't it? 
You've come back. <gasps> sure, Wendy, yeah, I've come back. Who do you think I am? Come back from where? Because spirits could could tell who they are, but m mundaners, muggle, muggles, can we call them muggles? Um, can't tell. I'll just say come back oh, from no, here. No, you don't. You almost fooled me, but I can tell. You're the master. I'm the what? Or, yes, I'm the, ma the master. No, Wendy, you got me confused with someone else. Don't play dumb with me. I'm not that innocent. At least, not anymore. <gasps> You've done something to your face. You've changed it somehow, but I can tell. It's you. Curious. She can see past the veil. She must be void-touched. What? Touched? Void-touched. It means... I don't give a crap what it means. And I don't give a crap about you either, master. Just leave me alone. I already know you're good at that. Ooh, so a spirit went through her too. I think that's what happened. Something happened. Why should I? Seemingly trouble telling me you might help you feel better because I'm your master and I command you to. Loitering in this park is a crime I'll report you if you don't tell me. Hmm. Right. And I'll bear my soul to you because you obviously care so much. You left us. You don't care about anything. Oh my god. So get what out did of she here. Do Take your new followers and go. Wait, followers? You heard me. You said I left you. What do you mean by that? I've lost my memory. I don't remember anything about you or anyone else. You found a dead body in the basement of the village I building. The basement of the village I is half forest. I'll leave you alone. Yeah. What do I mean? You left. Left us to fend for ourselves, and it all went to shit. Me, I'm back where I started. Others weren't so lucky. Others? What others? I lost my own... There's a ghost in the village I built, and we found a dead body. You can't prove a damn thing. I mean, whatever. Don't know a thing about it. Uh-oh. Shut up, shut up, shut up! Talk about it. Don't even think about it. Just don't. Others, what others? Um... That, that's crazy. You're crazy. Okay, I'm gonna Please leave her alone. I'm just gonna put back. in the password. So her name is Wendy. Can we talk to these other people before we leave? Compare her face to the photo. Hi, Rep Knight. Would see anything odd around here? What's that you're humming? Whatever it is, it's catchy. See anything odd? I don't think she'd even notice if she heard. Who is this person behind this? Uh, not this guy right here. A middle-aged man mumbling to himself and glaring at anyone who approaches. Can we talk? Nope. Okay, let's go back to the. Okay, what just happened? Woo! I was like, I didn't even save yet. Okay. Just so we are clear, we are not calling you master. <laughs> okay, so let's go back to the village eye. We'll go to the computer. So this is Jordan, Jordan and Wendy. So this is Jordan's computer. Wendy. And true, and Master says I should start this journal explaining who I am and how I got here. My name is Jordan. Three months ago, I was fired from my job at a crappy electronics store. Two weeks ago, my landlord evicted me because I couldn't pay the rent. I was on the street in the middle... Oh. In the middle of this brutal winter, the homeless shelter was completely full. I thought I was going to freeze to death. Master found me. She brought me here. She gave me clothes and warm food and this laptop. She insists I keep a journal of my experiences here. She also says I should call her master. That's fine. I don't care. I am safe here and I'm not leaving. Heck, if it keeps me alive, I'll call her God. Whoa. Calm down. And you too, the master brought a few more people in. They are all homeless like me. They are all sick. This old guy has lung cancer so bad he's coughing up lead. There's this girl named Wendy who looks to be in incredible pain. Me, I'm so cold. It's so hard for me to get warm, but at least I am not dying. And tree three, master brought us downstairs. There's a tree growing up through the floor, a tree. Master said that it is an altar of life and it will protect us and heal us if we do the same. She will teach us how. All we have to do is 
let her cut us and we bleed on the altar so it was it was human blood that we saw and she for oh my god the energy oh man it's incredible energy why is er capitalized hmm oh man it's incredible i am warm i am warm so so warm it feels so good entry five i have never felt this good the cold has completely left my body the old guide's cough is gone he's even breathing normally and wendy is walking around without any pain praise the master entry six there are seven of us now master has been cutting us every few weeks it seems crazy but we heal up right away and we're healthy that's the important thing praise the master i would be dead if it wasn't for her we all would entry seven merry christmas the tree is growing there's grass on the floor of the basement it's concrete with the master anything is possible entry eight the master needs to leave for a while and i am being put in charge me in charge i am so honored maybe i should password protect this laptop since i'm so important now entry nine it's nice having my privacy but it's kind of lonely in here i asked wendy if she would stay the night with me she said yes entry 10 i cut the old guy he bled like crazy he didn't heal i had to run out for bandages thank god he's okay oh my gosh entry 11 it's freezing in here i turned the radiator up full blast it does nothing Entry 12, Wendy's limping. The old guy is coughing. I can't stop shivering. The ritual doesn't work anymore. Master, where are you? You've gone for almost two months. Entry 13, where's this two C's? Can barely feel the keys. Hands are numb. I can't help these people anymore. I can't help myself. Entry 14, I have to leave. I am sorry, Master. I can't do it. Putting Wendy in charge. I'm sorry. So he just up and left Wendy. Blood rituals used for healing. Hmm. That is perverse and wrong. Is it, it the old may be guy? Wrong, who... But it does explain the forest downstairs. It's unspent life energy. It created excess life. Uh... Beauty can hide all manner of evil, Eli. You know this more than anyone. I sense a story here, Eli. So how do we stop it? This is all my fault, isn't it? We told you before. Don't blame yourself. Pity yourself later if you must. For now, you must focus. If I understand that journal right, the ritual stopped working when the, uh, <clears throat> master left. <laughs> which means that only you, or rather your demon, could perform it. Then why leave Jordan in charge? Yeah. That's a good question. One more reason to track it down. In the meantime, I really want to know more about this ritual. Yeah. After you? There. Let's ask her who Jordan is and. Excuse me. Okay. So I've lost my memory, don't remember anything about you or any room. Okay, here you go. We read Jordan's journal. Shit. I knew I should have tossed that computer. Well, the cat's out of the bag now. You proud of yourself, master? I wasn't the one doing blood rituals. Whatever you think I did, it wasn't me. Was it all true? You mean, did you teach us all how to do those blood rituals? Yes. You took us all in. You saved us, I guess. Maybe. Every month you'd do the ritual. You'd cut one of us. We'd bleed on the altar. Then you'd say those words and what we'd words? heal. Better, stronger, faster than before. It was like a drug. Life energy. That's what you were being fed. That explains the wildlife in the basement. It must be residual life magic. Whatever it was, it felt good. So were they always, like, sick or something? Like, why are we always healing every month? I mean, why can't you just stay healthy, right? Like, I don't know. So what happened next? So what happened after your master left? What happened after Jordan left? Yeah. It all happened? ended is what happened. Jordan was so happy when you put him in charge. He tried, he really did. But he just got too sick. Whatever you did to us, the healing, it stopped working when you left. So he put me in charge. Me. And I just made things worse. You need to tell me what happened now. Why did he put you in charge? Something must have happened or you wouldn't be out here. Yeah, why did he... He loved me. He trusted me to do the right thing and... Do right by everyone. I didn't expect I would. That I, I cut with a knife. I said those stupid words she again overdid it? and again and again. It didn't work, so I had to try harder. The murdered man in the basement. 
You took the blood ritual too far. It was an accident, I swear. So it was an accident. You killed one of your own group. Did it work? <laughs> yeah. I put him on the altar. I took the knife and I... I killed him. By accident. I must have been nervous. I thought that was the end of it, but then... The ghost His spirit. It came back. It was horrible. We couldn't stay. Every time it saw us, it would scream. Oh, so it drove you out. You deserve what you got, and then? Yes, and so I came here. I don't want to be around people anymore. You speak the truth. You believe me. Hooray. It is not a matter of belief. I simply know what truth is. Thank you for sharing it with us. There's no point in lying anymore, is there? The master here was just as much involved as me. And something tells me you aren't gonna turn her in. Where's that knife now? You said you needed healing. What was wrong with you? Now let's you think I'm an idiot? I tossed it's it down a storm cool. drain. What? Why did you do that? Why do you think? It's probably halfway to Jersey by now, and good riddance. Said you needed healing, yeah. Cerebral palsy on my left side. It was bad before. I could barely handle sewer duty. It's much worse now. Sewer duty? You seriously don't remember? The pipes in the building leaked. Overflow from the sewer. It was disgusting. You couldn't exactly call a plumber, so you made us go into the sewer and drain it from there. We went down there so much, Jordan had to swipe a key to the control panel. We're gonna fix this, don't worry. Where's the key to the sewer control panel? Yeah, let's ask that. Are you serious? You never wanted to bother with that before. But whatever. It's to the right of the control panel, behind one of the pipes. Okay. We're gonna fix this to worry. Goodbye, Wendy, and good luck. Where's the key to sit? Wait, say it again. Are you serious? You never <laughs> wanted to bother with that. <laughs> Short term before. memory. But whatever. It's, it's to, to the right, right of the control, control panel, panel behind, behind one of the, one pipes. Of the pipes. Okay. Goodbye. I was lucky I never would have met you in the first place. Okay. Well, let's go back. She threw the knife down a storm drain. Damn it. I can't blame her, but damn it. Magically imbued tools take weeks to make. I really hope to study it. <laughs> what a nerdo. So, the manhole cover is firmly attached to the street. Are you trying to lift a manhole cover with your bare hands? You never know. Maybe the demon gave her super strength. I guess not. <laughs> Sorry. She could do it with her. Are you lifting with your knees? Yes. There you go. Racing. Fortuitous that I have kept up my training. Oh boy. Let's go in. Maybe will we find Jesse Baines At down there? The rain is washing <laughs> away most of the snow. <laughs> it's a different Not game. That's police I'm quest. Positively sweltering. Okay. So the water in this pool is boiling I like a raging tea kettle. What do we do? But should this water be boiling? So... Uh, no. I know. Why is the water I boiling? Don't think so. No. Let's turn this off. Oh. Be careful. The heat in this room is kind of off the scale. I don't know, why is it... Where do we go? Do we... Are these the pipes Wendy was referring to? Huh. There's the sewer Looks key. like Wendy was right. The battle center said the metal is practically going, going in the heat. It's that hot, huh? What do we do with the sewer key again? Gosh. The water in this place will look really good too far. I guess we don't do anything else in here, do we? Oh, maybe he can, we can use him to turn this off. There we go, because he's this threat. Eli Becker, mage, accountant, and plumber. And sometimes all three. <laughs> this 
small sign reads emergency drainage system for flood conditions only a rusty panel containing imposing solitary people there you go whoa what is happening <gasps> holy cow what <laughs> What the hell are you? We are just here to talk. Okay, I'll turn the water back on. <laughs> what the hell are you? Wait. Master? Oh my god, is that master? Jordan? Master, is that you? No, I'm not your master. Yes, I am your master. Maybe I should I just say yes? Mm, I'm gonna say yes. I knew you'd come back. I knew it. I couldn't leave them. Oh, it is Jordan. I was too weak. I tried so hard, but it was just too much. You're Jordan, aren't you? What happened? You didn't fail me. I... I was, yes. But I'm not sure who I am anymore. Do you remember, Master? How you found me? Frozen half to death on the street? Oh, now he's born. I almost died. <laughs> you saved me. You healed me. Brought me back from certain death. I remember. I have forgotten almost everything. I'm sorry. It wasn't really me. It was a demon who possessed me. I was just lie. So do I. I will never forget it. You were so kind. You showed me how to heal. We were going to heal the entire city. But I couldn't do it without you. When you left, the power left too. The chill, the cold, it came back. I couldn't stop it. It just got worse. Worse! I couldn't heal myself, let alone anyone else, so I left! I had to find something, anything, that could help me get warm again. It, uh, looks like you found it. And what did you find? I'm so, so sorry, Jordan. I know! You warned me that that spell was dangerous! I didn't listen! Why is he but posed I like so that? Desperate. He's like... I was freezing to death! <laughs> The bed in that homeless shelter wasn't warm enough. You taught me a spell that would let warmth into my heart. So I spoke it. Then this happened. You were inside the homeless shelter when you cast the spell. You don't know what happened, do you, you stupid reckless idiot? Uh, let's ask that. Yes. They were the only ones who would take me in. Oh, no, that's why it... You misunderstand. Shelter. It burnt down. That's right. Was was anyone hurt? Yes. I do think they sure people were hurt. Let's focus on helping you for now. Mm, yeah. Let's do focus. you really think I can be helped? I don't deserve it. At least I know he's I still nice. I thought he was gonna chance. be evil. Help me before I hurt anyone else. Anything you want. The knife was tossed down here. Have you seen it? We spoke to Wendy Eli. Can you do anything to help him? The knife? You mean your knife? Yes, I saw it fall down here. I took it. I hid it. Did you hide just it? in case you ever came back. Could you get it for us? I'd love to study it. I suppose after you help me? Sure. Uh, why can't you get that knife first now? You like, can you do anything to help them? I'm trying to choose my words um, correctly because I know this is the type of game like it depends on your decisions that it's gonna it that makes the ending of the game. There you go. Yeah, different outcomes. So we spoke to Wendy. Let's say that I didn't want to leave them. Wendy, least of all, she leads them now. She's keeping them all safe. Wendy killed someone on the altar. Why can't you get that knife for us now? Eli, can you do anything to help him? Master, this is all too much. I served you faithfully. Then you left when I needed you the most. How do I know you won't leave again? Cure me. Help me. Do that and I will get the knife for you gladly. All right. Wendy killed someone on the altar. We really would like that knife. Eli, can you do anything to help him? Let's I've see. been trying, but the fire is... It's different, okay. It's self-generating, self 
sustaining. Even submerging himself in water couldn't snuff him out. Hmm. I've never seen anything like it. I need to know more about his condition before I can even attempt a cure. Okay. Um. Let's tell him. She. She what? Why would she do that? Standard escalation. More blood, more power. I want this to end. Please, just let it all end. We really would like that knife. I understand that, Master, and I am truly sorry. Help me find a way okay. to cure me. So we need to cure him. Anything at all. Then I will return your knife. Okay. Thank you, Master. All right. So that's creepy, man. <laughs> Whoa, whoa, whoa. He played with powerful magic he had no business using. He hurt dozens of innocents. He was desperate. Okay, so what mistake. can we do? Maybe if we bring Wendy, we gotta talk more to Wendy, see if... We found Jordan, we're going to fix this. Okay, here you go. Don't care. I want nothing to do with him. And you can tell him that. I don't know what I'm gonna do now, but it's not gonna involve him. Or any of them. Or you. I think we gotta get into that shelter. When it fixes it, maybe you could join up with us. Yeah, let's ask if she wants to come with us. You mean become your precious follower again? That chance. You misunderstand. Your experiences have left you void touched. You can see what others cannot. Yeah. You have taken a wrong path for certain, but you could be useful to our cause. Find a place. Redeem yourself, perhaps. You say that like it's easy. Believe me, it's not. Well, thanks, but no thanks. I'm done. Whatever all this crap is, I'm done. Hmm. Very well. We will respect your decision. Don't do me any favors. This mess is yours, master. Do whatever you like. She keeps using that master thing like too much. If I was like... lucky, I never would have met you in the first place. Stop. This one's humming though, and I want to know why. Look at her face to the photo. Whoever is in that photo, this woman. Okay, I she's know lost it's it. Not. Okay, you see anything on her with it? Yeah. Rough or not, she doesn't seem to mind. Whatever it. Okay, she doesn't want to talk. Let's go back. Can we go... That way? Oh! We gotta get in this mess! Can we turn invisible? Let's talk to him more about... Good evening, ma'am. Is there any chance I can take a look around back there? Do you know... Anything about the village I building. There you go. They went out of business, didn't they? Squatters were living in that building for a while, but I think they've cleared out. You let them stay there? The owner never filed a complaint, so legally we weren't required to investigate. Didn't stop us from keeping an eye on the place, though. So you saw nothing illegal going on at the village? Nothing I... we could see from the outside, no. But to be honest, it wasn't exactly high on our priority list. Um, no. In case it wasn't clear, this is a crime scene. Which means, stay back. Hmm. You need to let me back there. Oh, really? Give me one reason. My sister has been missing for days. I think she was living here. <laughs> your sister, huh? Well, like I told you, they brought everyone to Beth Israel. Beth Israel. If your sister was here, she was probably brought there. I already checked she wasn't there. Please let me look inside. Don't you think I already did that, you idiot? They told me to come back here. They did? That's a weird thing to do. What do you expect to find here, anyway? I think there's a clue inside, some indication she was here. If my sister was here, I'll know. It's a twin thing. Let me in before I punch you in the mouth. <laughs> uh... There if go. there is any kind of clue in there, it's probably burnt up. I'm sorry, but I really don't know what I can do for you. There's gotta be something. She's got kids. We need to find her. Please, I beg you. My mother's a wreck. She's 70. I'm sorry. It's just been so hard. Let's cry. Yeah. 
It's horrible when something like this happens. But really, I don't know what... Summon tears, start sobbing, quiver your lips, stare at him soulfully, shake uncontrollably. Oh, God. No. <laughs> uh, please, don't do that. Damn it. Fine, get in. Yes. Quick, before I change my mind. Just don't make me regret this. That was an Ooh, impressive she's performance. An I feel like I should applaud. Or maybe shout bravo. You certainly have a flair for deception. We will discuss this later. Let us find what we came for. Okay, Jose, what is this? Like a, <gasps> is something the matter? It's cold. Soccer is as cold as ice. The soccer is frozen solid. This thing is freezing. Freezing? That is certainly interesting. He can do it. Use your fire. How is this possible? This building was on fire not too long ago. It can't be normal ice. What do you think caused it? Oh, well, the ice is perfectly normal. Nothing magic about it. It's the cold that's not natural. So you believe this is magic related? Okay, you're gonna have to do something, Eli. Come on, melt! Is everything all right? Everything's fine. It's just okay. something inside is fighting back. There! <gasps> Nicely done. That's me, Eli Beckett, enemy of ice. I wish I had firepower. That'd be so dope. Oh, is it a person? Popsicle? Well, that's Human popsicle? Our cold source, all right. What is it? A thick ice block has formed inside the locker. A faint shape is visible inside. Eli. Gosh darn it. Hmm. Now that it's out of the open the air, the warm is rain is coming down. I should be able to. <gasps> it's a person. Jesus. The body's beginning to thaw out. Is he alive? Oh, good lord. Look at that. Not a burn mark on him. <laughs> He's so the proud. protected him from the fire? It also froze him to death, but if you want to get technical, sure. It protected him from the fire. What could cause something like this? We should get that police officer. Does his body look familiar to you? Uh, maybe. It's hard to tell, you know, with all the frostbite things. I admit, he does look slightly recognizable, I don't... but as to who, I cannot say. Hmm, this young man, young? I don't know, he looks like old. He looks slightly familiar, but you can't quite place it. That's not Zack, is it? No, that's not Zack. The we'll more I look at him, the more familiar his face becomes. Do you recognize him, Eli? No, but you're right. He is familiar. Why can't I remember? Who is it? My goodness! He looks familiar, doesn't he? Jeez. I definitely recognize that. He looks familiar. Not yet. Please. The identity of this man is familiar. Oh! Where is he in the picture? No. Jordan is downstairs. Holy crap, it's Jordan. This is Jordan, isn't it? It can't be because he's... Okay, so the the fire spirit is the spirit of Jordan? That's right, because he was ice cold. Or is that not Jordan, the fire person? Oh gosh. Yes, I'm as surprised as you are. The quality of that photo isn't so great, but it's definitely the same guy. The evidence is undeniable. Jordan sought a way to remove the cold invading his body. It appears he failed. How impossible we just saw him live. So what did we see in the sewer? Another ghost? Right? No. We would not it's have been able to converse spirit. with him. So we spoke to Jordan, not a lost spirit. At least not one in the traditional sense. His soul transmuted, escaped his body, and became something else. He is alive, just no longer human. He's become a fire okay, element, so it is his spirit. a spirit bound to a body of flame. Can't reverse it. Serves him right. So many people died because of him. Why would he do this to himself? Yeah, can we reverse no. it? No, he can't. And even if we could, his human body is dead. There's nothing for him to go back to. Regardless, we cannot allow a fire elemental to run loose in the city sewers. 
Okay, so let's go back and ask him nicely to leave, I guess. Can you fight him, Montana? Eli, you're the fire expert. Any thoughts? Yeah. Thoughts? I have plenty of thoughts. None of them nice. Let me mull him over for a bit, okay? We should hear Jordan out before deciding anything. Yeah, I anyway. wonder, because he seems nice. But that was it? Oh boy. Look, I hope your sister's okay. I really do. Just don't come back here, okay? I could get into some serious trouble. What a nice cop. Only cops in video games, I guess. Eli, you are scratching the buttons of your coat again <laughs> with your fingernail. All right, door done. I am. You in trouble. Okay. Look at him, still posed like that. Oh my God, is that his wiener? It is. He's so tiny. Okay. Let's see. So we will talk to him. Master? We really would like that knife. We went to the shelter, Jordan. Goodbye, Jordan. We'll be back. You did? What did you find? Your corpse. How do you put this? You're kind of dead. That you froze to death in the shelter. I what? I'm dead? No, uh, not exactly. You're a fire elemental now. You're alive. You're just in a new body. A body made of flame. That's why the flames are self-sustaining. You aren't on fire, you are fire. So there's no cure? Oh, um, no. Your human body is dead. There's no getting around that. But you're kind of immortal now. <laughs> I'm just gonna make it sound it? good. You mean I have to live like this forever? I mean, you um, put it upon yeah. yourself, man. You should have left me in the cold, Master! You should have left me to die! There he goes, blaming others! <laughs> Stretch. Oh, okay. We gotta save this guy and then... Okay, so there's gotta be something can do your life. So about that knife, Jordan, we won't brand you, Jordan. We'll think of something. There you go. Thank you, Master! But we need that knife. Look, we do have one option. I'm a fire mage. I can control and channel fire. Given enough time, I can... Remove the fire from your spirit. Eli, what you are proposing will be incredibly painful. I know. Oh my god. Painful? It will feel like being skinned alive. <gasps> but it will kill me? Eventually. Then I'll do it. Okay, so are you sure this is the only option? Just don't forget that knife. There you go. Will you shut up about your stupid knife? Calm yourself. I will not allow you to do this. I don't want to help you no more. Another, another way? There are others of your kind. Fire elementals. A whole world of them. Yeah, in another dimension, across the void. How do you propose to get him there? Jordan is a creature of spirit now, which means he can traverse the void. I can lend him the energy required and show him how to open the way. So he can, what, spend eternity with fire people? Wait. Eternity? It is a one-way trip, Jordan. Life there will not be easy, but perhaps you can find a home there, a life. But what kind of life would that be? What if he just stayed down here? It's your one decision, Jordan. You won't have to eat any human flesh, will he? Sure. On Better to die world, human. It will hurt, alien but you'll dimension. be at peace. You All should go alone. across the board. You'll be happier there. There will be others of his kind. Mm -hmm. It's your decision. I, I can't. This is all too much. Master, I know you've done your best. Whatever you decide, I will do. And if they don't, oh, they'll be stuck there forever. So the alternative is to murder him? It's mercy. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, Master, you are right. I have decided. Maybe this is how it should be. You gotta kill this guy. Maybe I was meant to die that night. Okay, I am ready. <sighs> Uh, you guys should wait a Maybe I should have made him go across the void, huh? Besides, you don't want Cause to he be was here. no This isn't going to be pretty. What about the knife? Jeez. Oh, this will come back to haunt us. In one way or another. Are you sure we made the correct choice? He was human, better to die as human. He had suffered enough. Yeah. And yet. We ask him to suffer more. Perhaps it is worth it in the end. 
well so that he can be in peace. I am often told that I lack the perspective on such things, not being entirely human myself. Is she trying to guilt trip me right now? Because I wanted to save this life. That sounds pretty human to me. Yeah, you seem human in the ways that matter. You do seem a bit cold. <laughs> That you wanted to save his life. That sounds pretty human to me. Yeah. At the expense of his own humanity, I did not take that into consideration. Eli, is he? Yeah, he's gone. What kind of paleo? How bad was it? Is he okay? Yeah. Well, I might have lost a few lunches down there. Good thing it's already a sewer. Nobody will notice. But what about the knife? Jordan gave me the ritual oh, knife before he went. And? And it's a knife. I'll study it back at my lab. Hopefully find something to make this all worthwhile. Can we hail a cab? I don't feel quite up to the subway right now. Of course. Whew. Good lord. Okay, so I guess I'm just gonna end it right here. That was uh, pretty intense, but Mandana, Mandana, I don't know. Like now, I feel like we should have just sent him through the void so he could be with the rest of the fire people. But he didn't want to spend eternity there, is what I'm saying. Like he wanted to die. So if you wanted to die, you know what? I like the decision that I made. He wanted to die peacefully and we gave that to him. So there. Bye, Jordan. So go ahead and save your game and I'll catch you on the next level. Bye.